गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम टू सिक्स सेवेंथ एंड एट चैनल ऑफ बाई जूस आई एम योर टीचर अंकिता एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन टूडे इज वेरी वेरी स्पेशल क्लास एंड इन टूडेज क्लास वॉट वी हैव इट्स ऑल योर फेवरेट सो आई होप दैट ऑल ऑफ यू कैन सी मी एंड कैन हेयर मी क्लियरली डू टेल मी इन द चैट एवरी वन ऑसम हेलो गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन आई होप दैट ऑल ऑफ यूर एक्साइटेड इट्स अ मेन्टी क्विज for class 8 ssc so we will be covering geography history and economics sorry the civics like of course a pol science and of course what we call it especially uh, in class 6 7 and 8 the civics part very good very good awesome i hope that all of you are ready yay i know it's not one of your favorite but i hope that all of you are excited for the quiz yes Very good, very good, everyone. So we'll be starting in a bit. I hope that all of you are ready. Please make sure to hit the like button for the video, and if you're new here, please do take a moment and subscribe to the channel. Yes, I'm good. Thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. Yes. So let's move ahead, everyone. Right. So you know that soon we'll be reaching 50k. So we need your support. We need your help. So please make sure. do subscribe to the channel take a moment hit that subscribe button so that you can access all the videos that we have on this channel right we have so many videos for all, for all of you specifically subject wise right and of course chapter wise so please make sure to check the playlist out and i hope that you have subscribed yes we can we increase the chat size like the font of a chat thank you so much a little bit ha this is fine I yes yes we will wait we have still have some time so please make sure to subscribe then of course we'll be moving ahead and it's really very important everyone now you need to fill this particular form which is there take a moment i'll give you enough time right i'll give you enough time to fill this form what you have to do you have to go on www.menti.com then you have to write the code which is 78536064 Thank you Chintu for sharing the code with your friends. Very good. Yes everyone. <coughs> very good everyone. Very good. I right, when you are done filling your form please do tell us. Yes so close to 50k right? So close to 50k. Yes okay failed failed right everyone so i'll just wait for one more minute everyone please make sure you're filling the form yes done 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 very good the code is 78536064 very good very good so good to see that all of you are here everyone how many of you have hit the like button for the video Hit the like button for the video, everyone, very quickly. Yes, Pavneet. So you will be getting at the end of it, right? If you are getting any certificate, right, the digital certificate, you will be getting once we'll be ending this series, which is still going on now. Yes, it will be visible. Okay, everyone, hit the like button. We'll start, and we have fifty likes. Okay very good done 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 everyone make sure you hitting the like button Very good Dharmendra I hope it it was nice Okay Very good very good I let me just see Yes I'm waiting everyone hit the like button hit the like button And if you're new here please take a moment and subscribe to the channel I'm your teacher Ankita and in today's class we have the menti for class 8 SST Okay. Yes, I'm also checking everyone over here. Right, I'm also checking whether the menti is visible or not. I think it's visible. Okay, Dhruv, what are your point? Yes. Very good everyone. Done, done, done. Okay. We need just a few more likes everyone. We will start. Chalo. Yes. few more likes and we will start i hope that all of you have filled your form let's move ahead over here and we'll wait for our friends we'll have all the avatars we have 20 questions right 
We have 20 questions. I can see that a lot, many of you are asking ma'am, how many questions we have? We have 20 questions, so please make sure that you are there, right? And take a moment, read the question carefully and then only answer. Yes, all the best. That's very good, very good. So everyone, you know that you have to answer the correct answer. And most importantly, you have to answer it really, very quickly. The faster your answer, you'll have more points. Okay? Clear everyone? Okay. So let's start with the very first question. All the best to each one of you. After five questions, we will have the leaderboard. Okay? Let's get started everyone. All the best. And here we have the first question. The first question is, who was the last Viceroy of India? Who was among these with the last Lord basically? Lord Canning, Lord Mountbatten, Lord John or Lord Weasley, Wellesley. Yes, Viceroy. I'm sure all of us have studied about it, right? Yes, 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 yes. Everyone just focus in the correct answer. Don't go in the chat. Yes, chat can be misleading and the correct answer to this question is very good. Majority of you, 44 of you have voted for the correct answer. The correct answer is Lord Mount Baton, right over here. So he was the last Viceroy of India. Right? Very good, everyone. So after that, of course, we got the independence. So yeah. Don't trust the chat. Absolutely correct. Question number two, everyone, on your screen. So first we have the history questions. Okay. Who discovered the sea route to India in 1498? Columbus, Dutch East India Company or Vasco da Gama? Easy peasy, right? I'm sure this is the easiest question, right? I'm sure all of you know, yes, governor of India at that particular time. Very good. Yes. Everyone. Very good, very good. I would request all of you to not write the answer in the chat, right? <coughs> <coughs> Very good everyone, 64 of you have voted for the correct answer and the correct answer is Vasco da Gama. He was the one who discovered the route towards India in the year 1498. Okay, can you tell me in which city he actually came first? Yes, in which city he came? He came by the sea route, right? In which city he came? Okay, see... Definitely it was not Calcutta. That's a homework question for all of you. It's a very easy thing. Yes. Very, very good everyone. Okay. Awesome. Yes. Okay everyone. Question number three. Yes. Kelly Cut. Some, some of you are saying go also. Think about it. Okay. Question number three everyone. Coming back. Come on everyone. Come back. And let's see question number three. Here we go. Question number three, everyone. Who has developed the Monroe, right? Monroe system. Right, we have Captain Alexander. We have Holt, Thomas, and none of these. I think it's easier because we have the name also. You remember this, right? So the Britishers, what they did, they added this system so that Right? What, what had happened? Okay, of course, the farmers have their land, right? Now, even if they have their land, even if they have given the land to someone, maybe for cultivation and anything, they will be giving the tax directly to the British government. Very good. It was the plan that they had so that they can collect the tax directly from the land owners. Very good, everyone. And the correct answer is Thomas Munro. Of course, we can see from here. Yes, in the options only we have the name. Very good. Okay, everyone. Question number four on your screen. Question number four on your screen. And here we go. Let's see this question, everyone. Yes, okay. The Basar rebel in the central India broke out in which year? So you remember this was a very, very uh, big rebel that happened. Right? Of course, you know that it will... It must have happened in 19th centuries because we have the options from there. Right? And you know that this place is near uh, in basically in the eastern part of the country. 
in Chhattisgarh, right? And what happened over there? There was a rebel done by the Adivasis, right? They were like, huh, it's our land, right? We need the rights for it. And this happened. The rebel happened in the year 1910. Very good. Very good, everyone. 35 of you have voted for the correct answer. 23 of you, right? A little bit less majority of you got confused, but I hope now you have the understanding. It's 1910. Everyone, you know that in history, years are important. Okay? Yes, it's okay, Priyanshu. Just try. You have to vote on Menti. Very good, very good. Okay. Yes. Yes, Gungun, it was by the tribals. Yes. Thank you, Shine. Thank you so much. Yes, he landed there. Very good. Okay. Question number five, everyone. After this, we have the leader board. Here we have the leader, uh, the question. The Sepoy were angry with the British because of their policy of divide and rule of the cartilage episode of their intolerance behavior or none of these. See, we have the Sepoys, right? You connect with Sepoy. Why the Sepoys were angry? What was the reason behind their anger? Do we have the options over here? We have the options over here. You have to pick the correct option. The Sepoys were very angry with the Britishers. We have discussed it. You remember? Why people rebel? May we have this? Yes, and they were upset because of that. They were not told about the cartilage, right? So the gun cartilage was actually covered by the animal coverings. Basically, it was an animal uh, product that were used to cover the cartilage, and they have to actually open with their mouth and then only use it. Okay. So both the religion people, Hindu and the Muslims, have uh, their issues because. Some of them told, you know, it is made from the cow or from the pig. And both of these fat, right, was definitely not good according to the religious texts of the Hindus and the Muslims. That's why they were angry. Are we clear? Yes. Very good. Very good, Vimla. Very good. Very good, Adiva. Yes, absolutely correct. So 49 of you have voted for the correct answer. Let's see the first leaderboard, everyone. Right, we have the first leaderboard. And here we have the leaderboard, everyone. Let's see. So Himanshi is the fastest. Seems like everyone, look at this. All of you are very, very close. See, the points are really like 9, uh, 4, 8, 9, 5, 4, 8, 4, 6. Very close, you all are. So fastest is Himanshi. Then we have Anjali. Then we have Arzi Sultan. We have Videshwar. We have Charanjit. Amril, then we have Avni, Lak uh, Lucky, Pranjal and Lakshita. Yes, I, I can see many of you are sharing your ranks. 5 out of 5 but 16, it's okay. But you got the, all the answers correct, right? This is important. I know, it looks amazing, right? Shine, why are you leading your child? Yes. Okay, everyone. So you are ready? Can we move ahead? Aage bade? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah, look at this. A very colorful bar we have. Okay. Everyone, 76 of you are here, right? Please make sure to hit the like button. Yes, hit the like button, everyone, for the video. Yes, we'll start in a bit. First of all, hit the like button. Please make sure you're hitting the like button. Yes, after every five questions... I'll ask you, those who have joined, there are 76 of you, let's have that many likes. Like, 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 that's very good. Those of you who have joined a little bit late, don't worry. You, what you have to do, you have to go on www.menti.com and you, they will be asking for the code. And the code is 78536064. Okay? Yes. So please make sure... To join the quiz, we are done with five questions. We have 15 more questions. Okay. Chalo, let's move ahead. But before that, we have something really very special. So we were talking about this amazing quiz, right? So on from 19th of December at 7 p.m., we have this amazing live quiz. And you can actually play with the students from throughout the world. It was It's a very short quiz that will be happening at 7 p.m. on the Baiju's app. So if you haven't downloaded it, download the app, right? You don't have to do anything. You just have to download the app. Very good. 
Okay, everyone. So here we have question number six. Yes, we are moving. Yes, video bhi dikhegi. Very good. Okay. When did the British gain control of Delhi? This is an interesting question, everyone. I want to see how many know how many of you know this answer. When did the British gain control of Delhi? So even though they came to our country long back, they didn't have the control, right? They didn't control. But of course, they had a very huge fight with the Marathas. And after that, they got the, the control of Delhi. You have to tell me in which year. I can see the answers. Very good, very good. Yeah, okay. 24 of you got confused with 1805. But the correct answer is 1803. Yes, 1803 is the correct answer. So in 1803, the Britishers actually defeated the Marathas. And they got the control of the Delhi. Good. Very good. Yes. Okay. Now let's see the question number 7 everyone. Here we have question number 7. Tipu Sultan's sword was made up of. We have discussed this question right. You remember we have discussed this. When we discuss about the materials right. The steel. So the Tipu Sultan's sword was made up of. Stainless steel, woods, silver or none of these. It was a very, very strong material, right? Yes, done in two seconds. Very good, very good. <coughs> Three, two, one. And the correct answer, everyone, is option number B. It's the woods. And 52 of you have voted for the correct answer. Very good, everyone. It was a very strong material, right? Very light, though. Right, and of course, can be shaped properly. Yes, and of course it, it has engraving also. We have studied about it. Yes, the sword was really very beautiful. So remember this everyone. Okay, question number eight everyone. Question number eight. Let's see. I think we have this question which is super easy. That the Education Act was introduced in which year? 1850, 1825, 1910 or 1900. The Education Act. Recently only we have studied this, right? Very recently we have studied that when the British came, they actually, um, they, they made sure there was an act running for the education. So that there is an equal education and their way of education was there. So it came into a picture in a very specific year. Yes? Chat is misleading everyone. Don't read the chat. But what are you doing? Awesome! So 51 of you have voted for the correct answer and the correct answer is 1835. So in 1835, we know that the Education Act was introduced. And according to this rule, what, what we know, that the kids will be going to the school, right? They have a specific timetable. The teacher will be there. They will be sitting in a certain set of time, uh, you know, time bound classes. Yes, and they have to pay the fees also. Yes. Very good, very good. So 51 of you have voted for the correct answer. Now can we move ahead to question number 3? Yes. Here we go to everyone question number 9, not 3. And let's see what is the question number 3. Widow Remarriage Act was passed in the year. Which year the Widow Remarriage Act was passed? 1826, 1876, 1856 or 1886? Right, we have 26. Uh, 76, 56 and 86. Yes. It is an easy question, I think. If you can recall. <coughs> and the correct answer is 1856. Very good. So, Widows Remarriage Act was passed in the year 1856. Can you tell me who was responsible for making sure that this act was passed? Right, there were two people we have discussed about. Yes, can you name those two people who actually initiated the widow remarriages? Like basically they were like, yes, we should. We should take care of the widows and they should get married again. Very good, Ishwar Chandra Vidya Sagar, Raja Raj Mohan Roy and... It was advocated by Dhyanand Saraswati, right? Dhyanand Saraswati, very good, very good subjective opinion, Saraswati ji. Absolutely. 
Okay, 49 of you have voted for the correct answer. Yes, here we go. Yes. Swami Dayanand Saraswati, absolutely correct. Okay. Question number 10, everyone, and here we go. Question number 10 on your screen. Yes, Aryan. Got it. Now, question number 10 from the geography. Resources drawn from nature and used without much modifications are called as what? Natural resource, human made resource, cultural resource, or none of these. Resources that are taken from the nature and used without any much more modification, what we call them as. So now we are starting with the first chapter of geography resource. Very good, very good, everyone. Come on. <clears throat> I want all of you to vote for correct answer. Right? All of you should be the legends. Very good. 66 of you have voted for the correct answer. Right? The correct answer is natural resources. Cultural resources, these are the, you know, ultra pro legends. Very good. Okay. Now we have the leaderboard now. Yes, we have the leaderboard. Let's see. Here we have, let's see who's the fastest and let's see how marks are you all. There is no difference, there is no difference nahi in terms of the marks. So we have Vedeshwar, fastest, then we have Amril, then we have Charanjit. We have Aditya, Samyukta, loves Ankita ma'am, loves you too, bache. Then we have Anjali, Pranjal, Lucky, Shine and Lakshita. Shine, you are answering, but you are mislead kar rahe Yes, very good. So we have 79 and 20. Awesome. Okay, everyone. So let's see, we have 10 more questions. How's the energy? Come on, come on, come on. How's the energy? Tell me in the chat. Please make sure to hit the like button. Chalo, we will start only when we have 60 likes. We can have small, small targets. Yes, come on, come on, come on. Energy is really, very high, right? Let's have the 60 likes. Yes, very good. Bhadiya. Once it's done, mujhe batana. 60 likes, ho jayan, tell me we'll start. Okay. Josh is really very high. Very good, everyone. Yes. Yes, very good. Chalye. So we'll have, now we will have the questions from the geography. Let's see over here. The question number 11. On your screen, everyone, and all the best. The lowest layer of a soil is called as what? Is it the weathered rock, parent rock, sub rock or none of these? Jaldi batao, it's very easy na? Bohat sare layers rehte hain of the soil. The lowest more, the lower most layer of the soil is called as what? Which is deep inside. <coughs> yes. I can see some correct answer and some misleading answers in the chat. And the correct answer is, oh, 51 of you have voted for the correct answer, parent rock. So, both are layers at the last when we have the rocks, the parent rocks. Halwa question tha. Bilkul. You make thoda sa. We have 20 questions and, and currently we are on 11th question. No issues, quickly join the menti quiz. Okay, we are on question number 11. We have just done with the question number 11. Yes, very good, very good. Okay, now let's move ahead to the next question. Ha, civics end over here. Yes, here we have question number 12 everyone on your screen. Hi lovely. The process, it's the, not the he process, the process of taking out minerals from the rocks and buried under the surface of the earth is named as what? Mining, pumping, extraction or none of these. When we take out the minerals uh, from the rocks which is there actually underneath, right? Uh, the earth surface, what we call it as. Think about it, extraction, pumping, mining. Option number D is not an option. Don't consider option number D. Yes. And the correct answer to this question is option number A. It's the mining. I know that few of you got confused with extraction. See, we are talking about the minerals, so we call it as mining, right? Yes, it's the mining. 
If mining would have been not been an option over here, then of course we can have gone for the word extraction. But mining options may have, so we'll be using the, the correct answer over here is mining. Mining karke nikal rahe hai. Extraction is done for the petrol. Yes. Coal extraction. See, now extractions, what we, when we talk about the extractions, right, is there on a larger level. Larger in the sense that extraction, for example, if you're doing at a particular place, usually mining may be dig, okay? Extraction, maybe there is that process, but of course, not as compared to the mining, okay? So 58 of you have voted for the correct answer and absolutely correct. Yes! Yes, Shine, it is, but the questions that we have, right? The options, Jyothi, Usme sabse last we have the parent drop. Okay. Let's go for the question number 13, everyone. Yes, Harsh. Rubber plantation is, is famous in which of these? Okay, we have Sri Lanka, Brazil, Malaysia, and USA. In which of these countries we have the rubber plantation? Which of these countries is famous for its rubber plantation? Think about the, uh, the geographical positioning of the country right we know that which rubber plant are usually found in the which type of forest okay it's a direct question everyone it's a direct question and the correct answer is option number c malaysia very good 41 of you have voted for the correct answer that is malaysia 29 of you actually got confused with brazil so Yes, we do agree that they are also very close, right? And uh, to the equator, because they have a very thick forest. But for the rubber plantation, right? We have it majorly, majorly, Malaysia is famous for that. Rubber plantation, okay. Cool Rubik's, which chapter 10 you're talking about? Can you write the chapter name? Yes. Okay. Let's see question number 14, everyone. Yes, question number 14. Which of the following is a private sector industry? We have Hindus, Hindustan, Aeronautical Limited, Tata, Iron and Steel Industries, Steel Authority of India or National Thermal Power Cooperation. So we have studied that there are two types of sector. We have public sector and the private sector. Public sector is something which is controlled by the government, right? And of course, if they work for the people. Whereas private sector is run by the few group of people or set of individuals. And of course, they mostly talk about the profit. Yes, and the correct answer is Tata Iron and Steel Industry. This is of course, uh, is basically a private sector. Rest all are the public sector. The other three companies are run by the government. Whereas this is a private company. Reaching the age of adolescence will have in the next week. Okay. Cool Rubik's next week we have. Okay, everyone, question 15. Ha, it's okay, Gungun. Yesterday also we had a question on that, right? This scope we had a question. Yes. Okay, everyone, question 15. All the best. All the best, everyone. Question 15. Constitution of a nation contains what? Civics question started. Rules, laws, both A and B, none of these. Easy peasy. The constitution that we have in our nation contains what? Just the laws, just the rules, both of them or none of these? Yes. Nice, very good. Then you have gained the position. Very good, very good. Nice, okay. And everyone, 70 of you have voted for the correct answer. I think that's the highest in today's class. We have to go more up ahead with that, right? So, of course, the constitution of a nation contains both the rules and the laws that our citizens have to follow and the rules for the rules for us also. Okay. Very good, everyone. So, with this, we are done with question number 15. We have the leaderboard now. And last, maybe one, only five questions are remaining. Let's see if there's new entry on the leaderboard or there's a big shuffle. So, fastest is Anjali. Then we have Samyukta. We have Abril, Lucky. Charanjit, we have Muhammad Anzar, new entry, Vedeshwar, Aditya, Himanshi and Smitta. Smitta is also new entry over here. Nice, very good everyone. Yes. 
Very good, very good. I hope that all of you have your ranks and I hope that all of you have your marks also with you. Yes, yes, very good. Shiv Narayan, we, I don't know. Okay, okay. Yes, you know the correct answer, right? All of you now know what is the correct answer. Yes. Okay. So let's move ahead. Before we move ahead, everyone, I want to remind you about a very interesting parent club webinar that will be happening. That will be happening on the 21st of December with Chetna ma'am, right? So please make sure, please make sure to, uh, you know, to ask your parents to quickly join the webinar. There are very limited seats. So ask them to register for it. And in this particular webinar, Chetna ma'am will be talking about that how your parents can help you in setting up the goals and achieving them. It's a very, very interesting thing. So please make sure to ask your parents to join. And you can also join to learn that how we can set the goals and can plan to achieve them. Yes. Very good, everyone. So let's move ahead. Right. And what we have something really, very really special. I can have the hearts, right? Like Ashwara Ma'am collects. Over here, everyone. This is the English spoken class, right? That we have actually help you to improve your English please make sure to check it out link is in the description box right it's a very very interesting class teachers will be helping you to become more and more confident in the spoken English yes I know I know okay so last five questions everyone right let's move ahead and see the last five questions now let me see how many likes we have 70 likes we need come on 70 likes Yes, five more likes, right? Come on, make sure to hit the like button, everyone. We will reach it and we will move ahead from there. Everyone, if you're new here, yes, yes, I'm just starting. I know, I know, all of you, all of you want to start quickly. You have to show your love towards us, right? Team worked really very hard for you and when they see those likes and they feel so happy. Yes, yes. You liked it. Final five questions, everyone. Okay. Yes. Chalye. Okay, everyone. Question number 16. On your screen. On your screen now. What refers to a state effort to influence a particular matter in accordance with the principle of constitution? Agar state effort dal raha hai thoda sa involve hone ka, us word ko kya bolte hai? Right, intervene, disturbing, meditation, all of these, bohat easy hai. Right, jab state effort dal ta influence karne ka kisi bhi particular matter pe with the principle of the constitution, agar wo baat kar rahe hai, with the, in the respect of the constitution of our country, what we call it as? Very good. 51 of you have voted for the correct answer. It is called it intervene. Aana andar se, right? Intervene. Beach mein aana, help karna, samajna. Yes. That's nice, Pavneet. Yes. Okay. So 51 of you have voted for the correct answer. I really want to know ke ye bara bachche kaun se Who have voted for disturbing? Matlab, this is ultra pro max. Disturbing kaise ho sakta hai? Jaha state effort dal raha hai. So try to solve something, right? And talking about the principle of the constitution, how can we call it as disturbing? Yes, disturbing wale bacho ke liye. I know, I know. We added that disturbing just to check ke how many of you, how many of you are looking at that option. And look at this. 12. It could be a misclick also. And <laughs> meditation. How can meditation be the step? Right? Kaise koi meditation kar kar ke influence kar sakta hai? I know, it's the ultra pro max god legend. Ye toh badiya ho jayega. Right? Thik hai. So we are sorted with this, right? Now we know the correct answer. Okay. <coughs> Let's see question number 17 everyone. Here we have question number 17. Yes, here we have question number 17 everyone. Yes, very good, very good. Okay, who is the chairman of Rajya Sabha? 
who is the chair, uh, chairman of Rajya Sabha, Prime Minister of the India, President of India, Vice President of India or none of these? Yes, ha, actually disturbing, actually distributing ho sakta tha. So don't worry, now you know the correct answer, theek hai? Jo bhi vachyo se mistake hui thi, previous question mein galat click ho gaya tha, now you know the correct answer, don't worry. <coughs> Chairperson, sorry, chairman, kaun hai of Rajya Sabha? Yes, it's a very, very, I think it's easy. Oh. <coughs> Kaise? Right, the correct answer is Vice President of India. I think that many of you, I think majority of you got confused with the President of India. See, the President of India will not be, see, they are controlling everything but right officially when it comes to Rajya Sabha the, the chairperson right who will be there in the Rajya Sabha's listening to all the members is usually it's not usually it's always the vice president of India right and I'm sure there are others uh, other people also sometime but apart from the uh, apart from the vice president of India I'm sure I'm dekha kabhi kabhi there are other Hearing person also there. Speaker. Clear? President though it will not be. Yes. Okay. So the correct answer is option number C, Vice President of Country. Yes, the last question was that the state, right? For example, the state government, if they're taking any effort to if there's any situation over there right and they're trying to intervene into any situation okay basis on the principles of the constitution is like intervene karna they're they're actually participating into that intervening in any of the situation clear yes okay everyone let's move to question number 18 here we are everyone question number 18 on your screen you have to go on www.menti.com and then join. Okay. Match the following. We have column 1 and column column A and column B. So we have domestic violence, colonies, convict and criticizing. Criticize. Then we have dis, disapproval of the person or thing. Guilty of criminal offense. Quarrel between the husband and wife. And country under foreign rules. Yes. Very good everyone. See, we have to pick the option. Just see. Just see. Ke ek, just look for the two options which you think are right. And then try to match it up. <coughs> yes, I'm sure all of you know. I know. Just match the first one. Done, done, done. Yes. And the correct answer to this particular question is very good everyone. So 49 of you have voted for the correct answer and here we have. So domestic violence in terms of the court we always talk about the quarrel between the husband and the wife. The fight between the argument between the husband and wife. Colonies are the countries which are controlled by the foreign rules. Right. Convict a person who is guilty of a criminal offense. And then we have criticized dis disapproval of a person or a thing or a thing. We can criticize some uh, someone's choices, right? So this is what. Okay. Very good, everyone. Okay. Last two questions. Last two questions. I know. Okay. How many high courts are there in our India currently? How, how many high courts we have in our India currently? 31, 25, 11 or 1? So option number D is not an option. See, I'm telling you don't vote for option number D. One to hai hi nahi. So you have to pick from A, B or C. How many high courts we have in our country? We have discussed, right? We have discussed that in our country we have number of states. But not every state have the high court. Very good. So the correct answer is 25. And 47 of you have voted for the correct answer. The correct answer is 25. You can write in the comment section and tell ke kaun kaun si state mein there is a combined high court. Yes. Okay everyone. Correct. Right. Very good. 
Last question. Question number 20, everyone, on your screen. I know it was a one, one person who voted for D. More than one, I guess. Okay, who registered the FIR? Fireman, policeman, lawyer, or the public prosecutor? Easy peasy, everyone. This is also easy. Who is the one who registered the FIR? And the correct answer is option number B, policeman. And 50 of you have voted for the correct answer. So, so <coughs> FIR will be written by the policeman. Lawyer, chalo, fir bhi samaj mein aata hai. Fireman kaise kar sakte hai? Yes, fireman kaise FIR register karenge? First information report. Yes. Okay, everyone. So now we know the correct answer. Yes. Okay, everyone. Let's see the final leaderboard. And we have some new entries in the chat. Sorry, in the in the leaderboard. So we have one minute. We have Anjali. We have Lucky, Aditya, Videshwar. We have Muhammad. Then, of course, we have um, we have Diksha. Then we have. April we have then um, we have Aganj, your favorite is SST, Samyukta and Himanshi, very good, very good everyone, 20 questions, I hope that you have enjoyed the quiz, it's okay but I'm sure that you know the correct answer, yes Purvi, we do take history classes, don't worry we will be taking bachche, yes congratulations to each one of you, Yes, very good, very good. Not at your point, Shine. We will be waiting for that. Awesome, everyone. Are Manji, Tasaman Bolo. Yes, we will be learning together. Very good. Ha, junior word, you can leave. Bye, Bache. Yes, we are done. Okay. With this, everyone, we will end our class and we always, always tell you that we have got you covered. Right? And please make sure to hit the like button for the video. Share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. See, I know that you have quiz so you will not be able to see it again. But still share with your friends for a very quick recap. Right, you can ask these questions to your friends. Bol sakto kya you tell me the answer. Give them a timer also. Okay? And it will be a fun way for you to revise with your friends. So please make sure to share with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are watching this video for the very first time. I hope that you have enjoyed this class. Yes, bye bye everyone. Thank you so much. Lots of love to each one of you, right? We'll meet soon. Okay? Take care and keep on learning with Baijus. Lots of hearts. Bye bye.